Welcome back to another episode of Off the Clock. We are staying on theme with International Women's History Month. Is it Women's History Month? Women's History Month. That's the month. But this specific video is about International Women's Day, which was last week, also in March. It's the month of females and fake biological men pretending to be females, apparently. Anyway, this guy walked around a rally in the Netherlands on International Women's Day and interviewed some of the attendees. I'm very excited to watch this. My team has pulled it for me. You guys know I love talking about feminism, but before we get into it, you guys know the drill. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our uploads. Alrighty. Welcome to the first and a new video on Goosebumps. Today, I'm just a normal dude. I'm gonna find out what's gonna happen and what's going on with this whole feminism thing and what better place would there what's be going on with feminism? Bro, I don't even know. Feminism. What are we doing here today? We, me. I'm just a curious dude, like I said. Not really. What are you? I'm Renzo. Nice to meet you. Blixa. They're so cautious now because they know that they get baited into these videos. The last one of these that I did was at a pro-choice rally in Nashville, and the same thing was happening to us. There was like a few people that were like sniffing out that we were right-wing provocateurs or whatever they call it. They're like, where are you from? What's your YouTube? We're going to look you up. And then the event coordinators came up and were like, what's your YouTube channel? And we had like a very small team. And then at one point, these girls ran up to me. And they were like, oh my God, we know who you are. And they were actually fans of mine from TikTok. And I was like, why are you at this pro-choice rally. Either that's great because I'm reaching people on the other side of the political aisle, or you have no idea what I actually believe. That was the time. All that being said, this is like a normal tactic because they don't want to say anything because they are aware that they say things and then they look stupid. Right, so you're fighting for why you're here or what? Basically, just a big why. Um, it's a feminist march, so it's everything. Everything. Yeah, you can stand here for, I don't know, feminism, stop vagina tax, like... Sorry? Vagina attacks? Fuck vagina tax. you know? We have to pay for a tampon. Vagina tax. Yeah. I thought she was saying vagina tax. Well, we have to pay for a tampons and... Oh, okay. Products, so okay. Stop that. Fair enough. I get that. Yeah, so whatever uh, you want to stand for, you can stand. That's actually an excellent description of feminism. She said the quiet part out loud. It stands for anything and everything. Feminism is so confusing and destructive these days. It's not actually about uplifting women. If it was actually about uplifting women, we would be talking about the fact that men are dominating women's sports, that men are shattering the glass ceiling for women. We would talk about how hookup culture is actually detrimental for your mental health, how it benefits women in literally no way. We would talk about what it means to be a mother and why people are walking away from that. Like. That would actually be feminist talking points. Those would be women issues. But with modern day feminism, it's all intersectional. Oh, feminism intersects with racial something and, and trans whatever and ooh, feminism and environmentalism. It's like, can you not bring everything into it? You are allowed to have different issues that we discuss at different times. You literally can't even boil down what it means. Ask her what a woman is and see what she has an answer to. Okay, so you can literally think anything, say anything, and people will be like, you go, girl. Yeah. That would delete That's all value not good. It, right? If you say bricks are, bricks are green because feminism, sure. <laughs> what does that doesn't even make mean? Any sense, does it? No, it doesn't. There's inequality for bricks. So she literally is saying it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't matter. That's the basis of all like left-wing ideology right now. It's inconsistent. They are not rooted in any actual principles or values that drive them, other than we're gonna be angry at you and call you bigots if you disagree with anything we say, even if it doesn't make sense, and even if we don't even know what we're talking about. I'm so happy we have an honest person. I love integrity. That's the most important thing. She has a lot of integrity. All men must die? All men must die. Why do you want voice. me dead? Old men must die. You super villain? You don't have any knives on you, right? No, no, I don't, I'm not gonna kill them. I'm not gonna call, kill the men. They're going to uh, abolish themselves in the end, eventually. Why is that? Um, well, because patriarchy, which is also a man-made thing. You, bla you believe we live in a patriarchy? I, I think so. You think, you, you don't think so? I think so. You're saying that all men must die that you hate men so much that they're just going to abolish themselves, but you don't know if you live in a patriarchal society. I don't really know. What am I fighting against? I guess I could be fighting against anything. That's what the first girl said. I don't think so anymore. Oh, what do you think you're living in then? Matriarchy, that's like the women thing, right? Oh, are you for real? That's why- I think Women have more rights nowadays than men, maybe. Okay, but that's why we still haven't had the president of the United States ever being a why woman. Why do you, why do you care about that? You are in Amsterdam, and you're so upset because we haven't elected a female? You're pointing out something 
that has no relation to you whatsoever. It's just a random talking point because you're searching for rationality for your beliefs. You have nothing else. Sorry that Hillary Clinton didn't win. She was a terrible candidate. How does that impact you? Why are you putting all of your emphasis on America? In the Netherlands, every other eight days, a woman gets killed because of femicide. You know what happens to men every now and then? Uh, tell me. Oh, men are told to be killed. I don't see any men here around here telling people yeah, like women should die. This is the first time that openly they are being told to be killed, and I think that um, that time will that time will come. Imagine being friends with that person. Is she married? Probably not. Oh my God. Whoever she's married to, I'm so sorry, sir. Surely a lesbian. She's definitely a lesbian. Or she's like in some like polygamous weird cult thing. What is feminism for? Feminism for me mostly is. Did not expect that. That's no lady. That's a man. Breaking free from specific gender norms that, well, limits both men and women. So feminism isn't just about women. That's the point that we're getting to. Feminism means nothing and everything at all. Feminism is not actually about empowering women or fighting for equality for women because we already have that. If a woman is held back, it is due to her own choices. Sorry if that's a hot take, but that's real. We literally have the exact same opportunities and the exact same rights. But apparently it's not about that anymore because that's all been said and done. And so now they have to find other things to create problems around. You can't, you can't cry or you have to always be at the, at the gym. And for women, for example, you have to mostly work in like care industries, like being a nurse at certain hospitals. I Who says that? People to be, uh, be free to have their own choices. At the moment, that's... You have your own choices. Because, well, Telling all men they can't cry. Have you seen men in 2023? Everybody's crying. Testosterone is at an all-time low. Everybody go to the gym. Have you seen the obesity rates across the world, especially in America? Here I am bringing America back into it after I was just criticizing that woman. But still, we're all fat and lazy. Testosterone is low. Everybody's crying. And you're saying that that's not happening? Sir, fool, no. We are also, yeah. You have no idea what you're saying. The economic space, we're also You have no idea why you're here. Sometimes, like, women are still, for example... You, you, you say we, so you identify as a woman? Uh, not completely, but like... So what do you identify as, if I may ask? Uh, not really much at the moment. Mostly men, some bit of women, that I don't care. Western civilization is falling. <laughs> Every day, a little more. Ooh. He doesn't even know what he identifies as. I would have more respect and I wouldn't have paused the video if he had just said like, oh, non-binary, I'm used to that now. Mm, I don't really know. Not really much of anything right now. Mm. How does that work, figuring out something like that? Uh, it's mostly just trying to basically question the kinds of thoughts and ideas you have. For some people it's like, okay, I was born, by, born with a penis, I hate that thing, and it feels weird to have it. I don't actually think that this idea that we all have the freedom... That's an interesting little trio of people. They kind of look like they could be related to the guy hosting this. They have the same hair. I, the one who's speaking, I don't know if that's a boy or a girl. To do whatever we want or something okay. actually really exists. I think there are real material factors which restrict that freedom. Like for example, like working women like face heaps of violence against them, like both structural, systemic and like in their relationships and stuff. And there's no societal, proper societal support for to fight against that violence because it's just not profitable. What, vi what violence? Are we talking about sexual assault? Like if we are, just say that. Cause that actually is a real issue. But if you throw that around, I mean, oh, just all the violence and there's all the systemic stuff. You're diminishing something that is very real and that women face every single day. If we want to talk about rape and sexual assault, which is a very real thing, talk about that. It's inconvenient just to talk about that because then you're losing the societal and cultural things against women, whatever. And then if you're going to talk about rape and sexual assault, you also need to include men who are raped and sexually assaulted. You also need to include violence against men, but that is also inconvenient to them. And if we're talking about just things holding women back in the workplace, I'll say it again. It is because of women's own choices. Statistically, women choose and gravitate towards lower paying jobs versus men. They're making that choice. They have every right to go be an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, but many women choose not to. If they choose to have children, then maybe they choose a job that is more flexible, that, you know, is part-time, that allows them to be home. That would be paid less 
because they are not working as much because they are staying in the home. That is a choice. You can choose not to have kids. It's not my problem. And if you're in the workplace and you feel like you're getting paid less, statistically, women are not as good at negotiating as men are. That means we need to be bolder. We need to lead with our heads. Like that's something that we can change and you can take steps to mitigate that. That's not society against you. I don't expect to walk into a room and have a bunch of guys be like, oh, you're a woman here. We have a really, really good deal for you. We have to negotiate it all. We just pretended like a man negotiated. Like that's so condescending and rude. All the systemic stuff that you talk about are due to women's choices. They wear water. And you also see that people from like the LGBTQ community and stuff like that also face this violence very frequently. I face this violence. That's not a feminist issue. You've lumped it in. Now you're talking about gay people. What kind of violence, if I may ask? For example, slurs, slurs levied against me, shouting, people telling me to get out of it. And like uh, when I lived in Australia. Words are not violence. Australia, I've had people say like, oh, I'll kill you if you keep talking to me like that or something like that. Like what? I was just being who I am and they just sort of... What, what is you being give no who example. you are? You give no just example. I, I'm against any violence. I think we should respect any people that dress any, any yes. way they want sure. or whatever. You can, you can be against that violence, but that saying that is just like sort of a... almost a non-statement without actually looking at the real material underlying factors for that violence and the the system which perpetuates yeah. and shapes that violence. So it's just stupid words. Is, we teach people not to steal uh, and be kind, but there's still dickheads out there in the world and stealing. Yeah, so well, there, there's a part on your own responsibility. But why to, are they stealing? Sorry? You're to, I'm talking, I'm assuming you're talking about like petty theft, right? People stealing a phone, people stealing a oh, so banks poor. or like, any kind of violism. There's real underlying pressures and whatever you want to say for everything that happens in the world. And just saying that doesn't excuse use anything someone who for example steals 20 bucks right probably they need the 20 bucks probably it's because they're poor pro or unemployed or whatever right yeah. so that's the reason right there's an underlying factor so and then you look but at there's a why reason they why they're poor, poor. yeah why maybe they, they made a few very bad decisions that's kind of putting an individual responsibility so he's literally just pointing out one type of petty theft where somebody's really hungry their kid is hungry they're gonna steal twenty dollars and do that what about all the people that are just not good people i saw this person has this thing and i want it or i'm dealing with the consequences of my actions like this man is saying like somebody tells me that i need to steal something i need to repay somebody for my drugs that i bought or some weird shit like that you can rationalize anything he's just trying to pick one little argument and then he's going to turn around and he's going to say, but with homophobia and transphobia and all of this stuff, there's no reason. Nobody has any reason to do that. Again, maybe people who are saying that to you, maybe they're just not good people. You can legislate anything, but there will always be bad people. We all have individual responsibility, right? I mean, saying that we wouldn't have any responsibility would be kind of, would be kind of naive. Okay, I, to be honest, I don't really think this is a very productive discussion. If you have a heterosexual image as the main image of <laughs> the country... It is the majority. Exceptions don't make a rule. Yeah, I, I, I understand you, but I, I've got a different way... I've got a different a, view on reality. When a man makes his <laughs> well, reality is a very good source, I would agree. Yeah, it's been working like that for hundreds of years, isn't it? If you read history books, that's your source. I don't know. I'm not here to emphasize your ideas about reality. If you want me to emphasize those ideas. I'm not here to emphasize your ideas of reality. You are supposed to emphasize my ideas of reality, my delusions, because I am a woman and you are a disgusting man who must die. That was my impression. There's still a gender wage gap, but they're basically marketing themselves as being progressive. I mean, you kind of, you kind of fix the gender wage gap if everyone is just whatever, right? Well, if there's no genders. How many different genders and sexualities are there? I don't know. I really don't know. What's the, what's the difference between a gender and a sexuality? Sexuality is where, who you fall for and how you feel about other people. And, sex, and um, gender is what you feel. What you feel? Yeah. Wow! I feel good! I love that he included that. That's why it's so confusing when you have the LGB and then you added the T. To the community like lesbians and gay people and bisexual people we're talking about their sexualities there and then suddenly we're lumping in people who are just changing their genders like these are two different categories two different conversations lgb without the t has literally been trending on twitter because of this because there's a lot of gay people who are saying you are ruining what we are what we stand for our movement you aren't even talking about your sexuality maybe you are a trans person who would consider themselves gay but then you would just be straight in another world of caught i don't know oh what is a woman ah I was hoping he would ask what is a woman? I don't know. Then what, what is a man? I don't know. So what, then what, if there's no differences, why is there even a point on naming it? 
because people want to, it to be named. But if you can't even explain the difference between a man and a woman, why do we even have names for it anymore? I believe there is a difference. Traditionally, you have a man and a woman, a man has a penis and a, a, a woman yeah. has a vagina, right? Exactly. Yes, exactly, exactly. But I love these. Amazing. You have, you have people that have like a penis and also a vagina. It's like a very small percentage. How can you, how can you have both? That I have not heard that before in all my time on the internet. Did she literally just say there's some people that have a penis and a vagina? You have people that have like a penis and also a vagina. Wow, you're so smart. I don't want to know how that works. I was envisioning something and I don't want to. Exceptions don't make the rule. No, but... I think like, that's what's happening right now. No, it's, I'm sort of just changing. It's making the exceptions the rule. So? I love that he keeps driving home exceptions do not make the rule because specifically with transgender ideology, they throw around all of these things like who you are is just who you identify as. And I saw one video recently where a lady was saying like, actually, if you are transgender, you do biologically change because in your brain, you think you're different. And then your brain tells your body that, you know, you're a different gender now. And so you actually are biologically, you know, a different gender. And then when we actually get down to science, they completely waver on their principles and what they're saying. And they go, well, actually with intersex people, intersex people, that, that's one, there's, that's a tiny percentage. You're basing an entire ideology off of a tiny percentage of people who are born intersex, but you're only doing that when you're actually pressed to the bottom of your argument. That's like with the abortion argument where people try to use the 1% of women that use abortion in cases of rape and incest. The other 99% is a form of birth control. So if we can agree that that 99% of birth control abortions is immoral and is wrong, is inhumane, is murder, then we could have a conversation about the 1%. That would be realistic, but they don't wanna have that. They will never admit that it's wrong. It's the same thing here. They will never actually get to the point of talking about intersex people. We could never have a conversation about that one category because then they're gonna lump in literally everything else, all of these weird identities. And if you just think that you're a different gender, then you become one. It does not work that way. Life is already difficult and complicated if you, if, enough. If you don't want it uh, to notice it, just don't notice it. If you don't want to be here, you, if you're, you, if you're gonna- Don't notice it. It's literally everywhere. How could you not notice it when you're screaming in my face? When you're yelling at me about transgender things literally every single day. You can't just turn a blind eye unless you're literally living in the woods, which I would love to do and turn off all social media and stuff. But then I would just be ignorant and not having a sense of what is actually going on in the world, which I think you need to know in order to be a concerned citizen and a you know participant in society. There's no way to just ignore it. If you're gonna send your kids to school and you're gonna be you know, end up with some weird ass information and they're gonna come home and talk about all the sexual shit while they're five years old. There's no reason for them to have any of that information. No, because it's not talked about in school. Yes, it is. Where? People that are boys, there's people that are girls. There are, peop there are people whose gender might be a little bit of both. Or in school and on Netflix, Lessons educational materials. Books about transgender children. Another blaring example, Drag Queen Storytime. It's happening in Canada and America, where some public schools and libraries invite drag queens, oh, some dressed like torn demons, like to read to young children. For some, of course, there's going to always be a component. People will actually want more change, but I always am always skeptical of uh, well, corporations trying to make changes like that. True. Because, well, it's, it's becoming kind of corporate, isn't it? In some ways, yes. <laughs> in a lot of ways. You cannot claim that you are progressive and edgy and the revolution if Netflix and Apple and every huge big tech platform is on your side, if big pharma is funding you. You're not the resistance. They're using you. They're profiting off of you. You're nothing special. You're not oppressed if all of the corporate world is supporting you. I think it would be better if all men would die. Um, well, for a lot of things, it would be better, yeah. You Who's literally, the world would not continue. Or your car. <laughs> because I don't see you doing it. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe then I should walk soon. Maybe you should. Mm. It's really weird, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Literally, if she actually believed that all men should die off, the entire planet would die off. I mean, maybe that is kind of her motive because she probably believes that the planet is dying and is gonna burst into flames anyway. So there's no point in procreating because there's no hope for anything and the whole world is doomed to disaster. But that is such a, I mean, that is literally like a doomsday point of view. A world without men does not exist. Just like a world without women cannot and would not exist. There are two genders for a reason. We live in harmony, we balance each other out, we are needed for different things. We have different strengths 
literally physically, mentally, the way we operate, the way we look at the world, our bodies are constructed in literally different ways, depending on how we are supposed to function. You cannot have one without the other. And you cannot have feminism without an actual definition of what feminism is. And that's the point. Happy Women's History Month. Before you go, make sure that you like this video if you have not already, subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a single comment section or off the clock episode. We are putting out new content every day, sometimes twice a day and even on weekends now, and I don't want you to miss a thing.